hello and welcome to this spss tutorial in this tutorial i'm going to show you how to use the chart builder in spss to plot a scattered plot it is pretty simple and straightforward i'm going to show you the steps step by step so after en entering your data in the data view and coding it in the variable view i showed you how to do this in our pre previous tutorial so if you want to watch how to impute data into spss and code the data watch our previous video i also showed you how to do other analysis but in this tutorial i'm going to specifically show you how to plot a scattered plot using the chart builder in spss so to do that we'll come to the menu bar on the menu bar we'll click on graphs and a drop down comes up and we'll click on chart builder which is the first option on the drop down after clicking on chart builder this will pop up and this is the um, chart preview that we are going to use to plot our scattered plot. Under the gallery, there are lots of favorites to choose from. So we'll come down to the list and click on scattered dots. So these are the different type of scattered dots that we have in SPSS. They are just different definitions. Some are 3D and others. So this, the first one is the simple scatter. And to plot a scattered plot, we'll come, click on the simple scatter or any of the scattered plot and drag it into this chart preview box when we drag it there this is an example of what a scattered this is an example of what a scattered plot looks like so we have to determine the y and the x axis and on the x axis the independence variable is usually on the x axis and the dependence variable is usually on the y axis and to determine that you come to your data that you have entered this is the data labels that we've entered so you click the independence variable and drag it to the um, x-axis. The x-axis has the independence variable. So let's use patient gender as independence variable. The independence variable is, the independence variable is also usually the qualitative data, the qualitative data. And on the y-axis, we usually have the quantitative data, which is usually the dependence variable. So we are going to use the number of sessions for that. You click on number of sessions and drop it in the y axis. After doing that, we have determined our scatter plot um, x and y axis. So we'll click on OK. <clears throat> After clicking on OK, we can see a scattered plot has been plotted. So this is what a scattered plot looks like. Sometimes it's usually more scattered than this. Let's do another example using different variables. So we'll come to um, graphs, click on chart builder. So we'll come to graphs, click on chart builder. The, let's use other variables. To remove this, you click it and drag it back. So let's use um, age as our dependent variable, uh, as our independent variable. Let's use age and the number of e extent of satisfaction as our dependent variable. And then we'll click on OK. So it has plotted. This is yeah. This is a very good example of a scattered plot. You can see how the values are scattered everywhere. So that is how to plot a scattered plot on SPSS. And if you want to move this to your Word document or wherever you want to paste it, you click on it and right click and click on copy as copy it as an image. Then you go to the place where you want to paste it, like on a Word document. I'll go to my Word document now, and I'll simply come there and paste it. Right click and paste and we can see the simple scatter extent of satisfaction by age age is our x-axis and extent of satisfaction is our y-axis so that is how to plot a scattered plot if this was helpful give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you in the next video leave your comments in the comment section below cheers